<clears throat> Thank you for joining me again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're back here with Fallout. So, last time we actually died, which was sort of a bummer, but really it's not actually that bad because we gained some days back to get the water chip for our vault. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to another place. I can't exactly... I believe it's called the Boneyard. Yeah, the Boneyard, that's what it's called. And we are going to get the next member of our crew and then once we do that we should be good to go to a place called necropolis which is where our water chip is being held so we need to go to the boneyard which we can get there actually by doing a job for the crimson caravan so let's go and talk to them So they do high-risk jobs. So let's talk to him. Uh, hey there, how you doing? My name's Dimitri. Dimitri uh, Ramara, head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? Damn, you look strong. Yeah, so? That's just what we're looking for. You like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, wind by your head. Blowing your enemy into two, seeing the fear in their eyes, ha, that's a life. You look like the kind of person that would serve us well, and we pal well. Oh yes, we do. We've just had a few new openings if you're interested, but of course, uh, of course. But of course you are, right? What's the pay? We pay 600 hub bucks per job. That's each way. Hell, the people say we take all the dangerous routes, but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life, am I right? Of course I am. Uh, hey, it's just what I'm looking for. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Karen in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. So I believe the caravan will take us to uh, the Boneyard, which is the next uh, place we need to go to. It'll give us... Uh, <clears throat> it'll give us... Get us to the, uh, to the place we need to go to to get the, our newest companion. So that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us, eh? You must have balls of steel, I'm impressed. But we'll see how you do. We leave twice a month on the 3rd and 17th. Can you handle that? We'll go to all the local hotspots. Brotherhood of Steel, Junk Time, Necropolis, and the Boneyard. And the pay? Pay 600 scripts. And yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. It's pretty tough on caravan wines. We're almost guaranteed to run in some raiders or worse. We'll have no sissies on my caravans, and you better have plenty of ammo. We live on February the 3rd. Are you interested? Sure. Cool, the next one's going to be out February 3rd. Come back then, and I'll put you on a caravan. As always, it pays three, 600 scripts. Okay. What day is it? It's the January the 18th. So next is February the 3rd. So... I guess we'll just wait until then. It'll take a couple days, but it's sort of worth it. Uh, wait until healed. I'll cut this out so you don't have to watch this.
Okay, turns out we don't actually have to go to the and do that. It'll just highlight the boneyard on our map right here, so we can just get on going. Uh, and this tells us we gotta hurry up and find that water chip. Well, it's got about 100 days left, give or take, of water. So, right outside the boneyard, huh? We get ambushed by some rats. We'll just take care of these rats and we'll be on our way to the boneyard and get our next companion. Uh, then we should be able to go to Necropolis and get our next, uh, get the water chip for our vault. But Ian died there for a second. I was like, are you really going to die to a rat? What we need is not actually here, but over here. I'm going to go ahead and save right here. So these people up here, the Blades, are actually a really nice uh, group of people. It's really funny because I believe uh, if you talk to like the mayor or someone, uh, the mayor will be like, oh, the, the what's it called? And there she is, Kaja. Kat, Kat, Katya. I guess her name is Katya. You're not from around here. Who are you? Name Strobe. And what might I ask are you doing in the boneyards? I'm looking for a replacement water chip for my vault. Water for vacation chip? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Don't see that, uh, don't see much of that kind of tech here in the boneyards, except maybe stuff Miles works on. Can you tell me more about the boneyards then? Uh,. What can you tell me about the blades? I've dealt with them before. They're not too bad as far as gangs go. Uh, they don't have a hideout. Uh, they have a hideout in an old club with some outposts. Careful, you might be able to get in. If you're careful, you might be able to get in some of them to talk. Get get some of them to talk. Oh. Confused for a second there. Uh, can you tell me about the followers? The followers of the Apocalypse are a group of peace preachers who live in a large library near the heart of the Boneyard. While they haven't been wiped out yet, I can't say. They're lousy combatants and have no understanding of the real world. But other than that, they're polite and well-educated. I need to know about the area around the city. The Boneyard is a pretty hostile place. I've never had the opportunity to leave, though I suppose I'd take it. Let's see. Just south of here, you have the Cathedral. There's some sort of cult there, but I'd stay away from them. Something sinister is going on there. Also, I've heard about the training center called the Hub. Uh, and caravans occasionally show up, but I've never been there. I don't plan to stay in this place t uh, too much longer myself. No kidding. If you're looking for another hand, I'll sign on. Better than spending the rest of my existence in this hole, right? You're welcome in distance. This is a, uh, <clears throat> your welcome addition, but the desert's not much more fun. All right, looks like we've got a little ass kicking to do. And boom! The boneyard scab. She says the followers are lousy combatants, and she doesn't know how long they'll stick around. So I'm trying to find a glorious day to you. I'm trying to find like someone with a name. I don't believe I did a mission like this. 
Let's go down the staircase then. Maybe we'll find someone down there. Looks like we're looking for a person named Nicole. A hideous ghoul. <laughs> Greetings, brother. My name is Talius. How might I assist you today? Greetings to you as well. I'm called Strobe. How is it that you came into the realm of the followers? My entrance to the followers is quite simply, really. It was the followers who rescued me from full effects of the transformation into a hideous beast. I don't fully understand. Please go on. Once I was, were, uh, once I was as you are, a pure human. But though the intervention of the night kin, I was taken to some place far removed from here. Please continue. All was not. Uh, I was not in a state uh, to which observe what transpired. All I know is that I woke here and was tended by the good doctor. I'm sorry to hear that, alas. I'm quite busy attempting to survive. Uh... Let's see if... I'm trying to find... She said we could talk to someone named Nicole. Uh, maybe that'd be her. You actually get you can't actually get into that room. Oh no, you can. You just have to go around here. I can see that doorway. I guess there's no one up here. I'm just trying to find someone to talk to, like uh, except for the ghoul over there. See, there's someone back here. No, it doesn't look like it. What about around here? Um, well, I see her students. I can't actually find like this Nicole person. Let's go ahead and get back over here. Is there it is. Now I would like to go and uh, speak with a group called the. There we go. I guess Ian and Tycho won't be joining us. Speak with a group called the Gun Runners. A lot of you might remember them from Fallout New Vegas. Uh, they were a group that that have uh, same game. Yes. They're a group that had uh, extreme. Okay, so there's one up there, there's one over there, and there's one over there. We're gonna try and walk down here. We're gonna try and avoid these death claws. I'm just gonna sit right here, sit real tight. Oh, Kaja, you're you're literally walking into one right now. Oh, 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 it's going to be tight. Okay, he's walking over there, so we should be good. And we're golden. Okay. We don't actually want to walk in this. As you can see, what happens to someone who tries to walk in this goop.
What's your business here? I want to buy some weapons. Ah, very good. Customers are always welcome. Come in, but please keep your Western Hulk. Go find Zack. He'll set you up with anything you need. So let's keep our weapon holstered and go speak with Zack. I believe this is uh, a gun runner. A typical gun runner. Uh, I guess this is Zack. I am Zack. You want to buy some weapons? Let me see what you got to trade. Ah, uh, okay. This is who you go to if... Look at that. Is that an incendiary grenade? No, it's a plasma grenade. Plasma rifle, a flamer, a minigun, plasma pistol. We don't really got much to trade. Let's just put everything that we got on the table and see what we can get. Actually afford the flamer. Six hundred. Take back twenty three. Twenty three and offer. Cool. We are finally able to get a big weapon. Let's go ahead and dog meat was hit for why didn't you walk across dog meat? Let's go back over, and unfortunately we have to go back to Deathclaw territory. No, unfortunately there's not a way out. Oh my god, dog meat, stop. Really? <sighs> okay, so we're back. Dog meat is not dead. I'm going to go ahead and walk through here. So that he can't die. Oh, ooh. we're gonna run down here so this death claw doesn't aggro onto us. Uh, the one down here, I believe, is in the building, so we're gonna run fast here. We didn't save, so I really hope we don't initiate into a combat. Uh, we're gonna run. Yeah, we should be good. He's too far away. We're gonna run over here and right into here. We'll be golden. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save now. Just get that out of the way. And now we, uh, in this episode, we managed to gain Katya and get a Flamer, which is a really good weapon. Um, so now, I think we're ready to tackle Necropolis. Uh, it's a very... It's gonna be a very difficult fight. That's gonna be uh, that's the truth. Uh, before then, though, I think we might actually have to do some uh, quick bit of training, I guess you could call it. Get some more XP to level up, and I know just the mission that we're going to be doing. Um, so please uh, join me next episode. If you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit subscribe, and uh, also check out our other videos. See if you like something there. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again later.